Hello and welcome to the Cool Cats Put Your Venetian Street Together video. Yeah. Okay, you've got me in front of the camera and it's Maggie behind. Okay, and this is our Venetian Street, our brand new intrigue look. So, so, so that one and you get the bits to make a gondola. Well, I'll not put it in here, it's going to slide right to the end but so you can see it. Okay, so it's going to go so you can sit it onto your little canal. Okay. Cool. If All you right. just if you pop that up, that's it, and just put it down. That's it. We can see perfectly, Kate, and, and you can and see it, it, it diving under the bridge. <laughs> but we've got a reflection because we've got um, like a special effect we on have. the base at the bottom. A special well. vinyl. Okay. Mm. Right. Okay. So I shall continue. Okay. So you need your base, um, and then you've got all full instructions and your layout for the base. So I'll just do, put the base together quickly. These. This is um, masking tape because I find it easier just to hold it together. And then obviously I'll put my glue all the way around and I find it easier to do it. We're doing the three sides. So the base, the side, uh, the back and one side. So I find it easier to put all my glue on first. Are you using the woodpecker technique? Okay? I am using the woodpecker technique. Unfold. So fold like that. And then I'll just put whoops, the glue on the side. So you want just enough to stick it, but not overdo it. Okay, so like that. Put that flat. I'll just take that off. Or is it the stick to the? And then I'm just going to put this together. I'm going to do. It. I'm facing me. I'm afraid. Then I'm going to turn it around so you can see what no, I've done. Do what's easiest for you. Uh, yeah, because it's. I can't do it back to front. It won't, it won't work. So I'll just. Oops. Right. So that fits in. Like that. Can you see that? Is that? Is that yes. okay? Yep. Okay, and then you can then, I'll find it easier to get a different piece, and I'll put a piece of masking tape across here. So I'll just put that on there like that. That's a really good tip using the masking tape. Put the masking tape there like mm. that. Okay, you can get off any excess glue, you can either do it with your fingers or with a brush. And then I'll just press down any excess glue off, and just bring that up. Squidge it in again. Squidge in. Let's just glue off from, this, from that side. Okay, and then make sure everything's nice and square, and then squidge it up. So that is your side of your look. Okay, and then just leave that to dry. Okay, so we'll come back to that in a minute. Okay, and the other thing we have is our gondolier. Gondola. Gondola. Sorry. <laughs> No, we haven't got a gondolier. Our gondolier's hiding. <laughs> <laughs> we yeah. like one. We, 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 we scared the life out of the poor thing. <laughs> our gondola is <laughs> made from our white light board. It's our new it's white new, light board. Or yep. light board, as we're calling light it. Light board, we're calling it. Okay, yeah. and, it's, uh, and it's complicated because it's curved. So I've made it as simple as I possibly can. So it comes in a little sheet like that, and you take all your bits out. Notice you have two of these. These are decorative bits that seem to be on the front of a gondola. I'm just going to zoom in, Kay. Okay. Okay. Oh, such a long time since I've done this. Do it that way around because that was back to front. Okay. You've got two of those, and the reason why you have two of those is because one was given to Maggie. She broke it, so you've got a spare. <laughs> so this is a spare. Okay. So I just leave it in situ. If you might need it, you might not need it. Okay. It's just very. This isn't um, because it's um, a paper-based board. It it's is it's much. You have to treat it gently. Yes, you do have to treat this very gently. Okay, but once it's made up, it's quite, once it's, it's made up, solid. it's quite sturdy, sturdy once it's made up. You just have to be a bit gentle with it. So you've got your base, and you'll notice that your tabs are slightly different. So you've got that slightly bigger than that. I'm going to zoom in again. Go that way. Mm -hmm. Move across. Okay. Okay. Yep, perfect. So that's slightly bigger than that. So this, these need to match. So you've got that tab is quite smaller, so it matches that side, like that. Go towards you. And then if I lay them out, mm -hmm. so they match. So you've got that little one matches that one, and that one matches that one. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense. Excellent. Can okay. I zoom out a little bit you now? You can zoom out a little bit now. Okay, and we're going to curve these. Uh, if you bend them, with, you can bend them with your fingers. Uh, this uh, our multi-purpose tool does work really well. It doesn't crease it quite so much. So what you need to do is just literally, because you want the 
base to do that, so it's curved. So it's just going to, so you've got a slight curve on it. I'm just turn and do it the other way around. You really don't need a lot of curve, do you? But you just you need do, to. But you do need a little bit of curve like some, that. Yeah. Okay, and you just leave this bit here flat. So I've just put it back to where it was in the first place. Okay, so this this side is going to bend in towards me. So I just need to put, put the curve on here like that. And turn around and do it that way. So you've got a slight curve that way. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can see it's not lying flat now. And then do exactly the same on this other side. Oops. You just need to take your time with this. You I mean, do. Everybody knows I've got sausage fingers, but I could do it, and I didn't need tweezers or anything. It was just the twiddly bit I had a bit of an issue with, which is why you've got to do it. <laughs> so, so Maggie is my test. If she can do it, then anybody, anybody can, can do, do it. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what I tend to find is, if you've got, um, because there's quite fine pieces, then I either use a cocktail stick or cut out a little stick from the waist and then you have a little glue applicator. So you've got yourself a little glue applicator and I put a little bit of glue on the end of the waist like that. So what you're gonna do first is stick your seat together, which are these pieces here. Okay, and you've got that piece will, is, um, is, is a line to show you where you need to stick. So at the moment, first one you get is a, a small one here. You put a bit of glue on the end. Can you see that? Is that, is that in the middle yeah. of the buggy? Yeah. Okay, and then stick it. I'm going to zoom in. Okay, like that. Just come towards me a bit. I'll, I'll just try to get it in the right position. So it's nice and square, which it isn't. It is now. Okay, so it's nice and square like that. Can you see, is that, can you see it like that? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then you're going to glue this bit like that on that line. So it's the easiest way of doing it is just to put a bit of glue on this bit. Get my fingers out of the way. Like that. And that's your seat, and that's your seat. Okay, and that's the seat where you, where you sit. It's not some wide thing to sit here, two people on it. Okay. Could be a nice little bed. Okay, so while that's just drying it, it's a little bit over there. So you're gonna stick that side to that side like that. So again, put your bit of glue. Again, you don't need much glue, but you need a fast grab glue, don't you? You need really? a, a sticky glue is ideal yeah. for this. You do need something that's gonna stick and, and hold its position like that. Okay, and then you do the other side. I'm very glad Kay's making this one because I'm going to swipe it when <laughs> <laughs> Oh, are you? <laughs> yes. Just thought I'd slip that in. Okay, and that fits in like that. Okay, at this point, what you need to do is put your chair in. Don't glue it. You're just putting it in to make sure that your sides of your boat are parallel, like that. So just keep it into position like that. And then you can also stick your little decorative bit in here. So from pictures that I saw of Venice, that sticks in like that. So just put a little bit on that. And these are very delicate, so. Want to put a bit of glossy accents or something on them to strengthen them up afterwards? That, that's be great. So. Oh, I know why I broke because I didn't stick mine together like that. That's why I broke mine. So if you stick that like that, then then that just leave that to dry while you do some more more, more elements of your. Um, oh. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so stick that there like that. So okay, and we just need to leave that to stick. Okay. So just leave that to one side, and we'll do the rest of it a bit later, okay? okay. Right, so we'll go on to... Oh, I'm going back to Venice. I'm back to Venice. Okay, so we've got lots of bits. I've cut these out, and I've, they're all tabbed. So I've taken, I've already tabbed, untabbed them, so you end up with your waist like that. Um, your bridge, it comes in two parts, and they're both exactly the same. If you find that these bits are sticking, all you need to do is hold your knife at the back and just press down and push like that. And they come out quite easily. Most, most of them have fallen out, but sometimes they want to stick. So that's how you get rid of those. Okay, um, I'll do a tab in a minute when I come to it, but they've all been detabbed. So we're gonna do the bridge first. 
So you need your bits for your bridge, which are those two pieces. That piece, it's all on the layout sheet. And those pieces, okay? So this is for your bridge. So you want it good side facing you. And then you're going to put, that is your central one. So you put that in like that. Then you put that one in like that, and you put like that. So when you turn it around, you'll notice that your tabs and your it moves. They're not all they're not all the same size. So lay them in where you know it's going to be. So that is your bridge path, like that. Can you see that? Right. Put it flat. Take your hand away, and I'll just zoom in. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. fine. It's quite easy to see that. Yeah. Okay. So if they don't. Um, fit together easily you've got you have yeah, you've to turn got, the bridge you, up the yeah, right way around yeah you, you, you need to turn around the other way that that, well, that fits out that way that one doesn't can you see that that so you'll have that problem yeah okay so just make sure that that all fits in like that and that goes to that edge there not over it yeah okay and then when you when you when you're happy with that just stick these together Oops. And we always recommend assembling all of this and decorating before we actually stick it into the... Yeah, so the, the bridge I will put together now and then I will decorate, the, then I will, when it's dry I'll decorate it before I put it in my nook. Okay. So, like that. What have you designed to make the decoration of the nooks easier? Oh, we've got some stencils coming. Mm, yeah. They're yeah. fabulous. We've got some brick, brick stencils and some half stencils. Mm. So the brick one is ideal. That's I showed you the um, finished one I did. I'll do it again at the end, and you'll see the brick effect I used on it. So when you put this together, so because now sorry, I've me. just just she's gone off at a tangent. Me. Yeah, <laughs> just, just to keep you all awake. <laughs> okay, so when you do that, and you put this directly over, so you've got the right side again facing you, and then you just match your tabs up. So which I might have to do in front of me. I can't do. That's it. Got that one done. No, it's not going to do it. No, I'm going to have to face it. Me, sorry, I'm going to have to do it this way around. Do what's easiest for you. It just fits in. Obviously, it's not going to do it now because it's been a pain. Come on. That's it. Okay, and it fits in like that. Beautiful. Okay, and then you just, and that is your bridge. So you can take off any excess if you want to. Fits in that, and then you just stick your path on, which is this one here, and it fits in like that. So you have an overhang here. So we'll just, we'll just glue that in place. So that fits in like that. It's like your top step, isn't it? Yeah, it's a top step. Tall. And you, and it has a hang, overhang. Yeah, we can see that. Okay, yeah. and that's your little bridge. So again, leave it to dry and then decorate it. Okay, so we'll go on to one of the sides. So we're going on to this side. Okay, do you want to do your steps first for your bridge? Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you might as well do that. Sorry, the steps come in three parts and they're all exactly the same and you just stack them together to and uh, glue them stacked. So just make sure they're all the way around. Whoops, sorry. That there is slightly different size to that there and you stick it on it, you stick the steps to the bridge at the end because that, suge that secures the bridge to the nook. So you'll see that later, but we'll put these together now so they can be gluing. Together. So put that one on top and that one on top. And then if you put it on flat, get it nice and straight and just wiggle it around until you've got it nice and straight. And like that. And that's your steps. Perfect. Okay, and then again, they can leave those dry and decorate as you wish. Okay, so we're going back to this one. So you can take your window frames, I've left the window frames in, except on this one, so I've untabbed them on here. So you can take your window frames out. So if you want to decorate them, you can come out and paint them this way. Try not to overwet them because it's MDF and MDF tends to swell. If you've got paints or um, decorative stuff on this side, you just sand this off so they just fit back in. You can see that it's quite a close fit. So if you've got any um, excess paint or anything on there, that it won't fit in. But we just sand it off and it will fit in, okay? So I'll put those on there so they don't fall out. Okay, so this one is the left side. 
So we need all the bits and pieces for the left side. Is it? So, yes? Yes, I'm sure you're right. <laughs> Just is it that side, that's left, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So I've always been very clever then, because I don't know, I don't normally, I'm not, not very good at that normally. So you've got your balcony and you've got your path. You've got your balcony base, which fits into here like that. So that's part of your balcony. That's the end for your path. That's the end of the path as well, which I'll go into in a minute. That's the top of a window. That's your door frame. And these are your shutters. Okay, so basically, again, your shutters and what have you, your, you can glue, um, decorate before you stick them in. But they're all the same size. So I'll just put that onto there like that. So I'll just put a, oops, a drop of glue on the shutters. So they fit like that. Again, if you want to angle them, you can. I've got, I'm doing them flat, but if you want to angle them up as they're partly opened, it's entirely up to you. You could even do it, put them on top of your window so they'll be oh, open shut if you wanted to. that's a good idea. I never thought of that. So. Honestly, once so, you start so. decorating these, you just have so much fun. So, because so, somebody could be having a siesta. After a nap. <laughs> That's what it might be a good idea. And behind the window frames, Kay? You can decorate those. I On my one, I use ribbon um, as blinds. Um, Maggie, did you, what did you use on yours? I actually used um, decorative paper this time. But, um, so you can have blinds, you can have curtains. What have you put on there? You don't want it bulky. But you, So you can stick it, you can put it behind that decorative panel or you could put it on your back of your nook panel, couldn't you? Yeah, so you, what you could do is put oops, on the back here and you could put acetate or um, clear, clear, clear film on the back of it so it looks like windows. So you can have curtains and what have you. So I'm going to put that on last in a minute. So the top of this can go on. So that can just sit oops, on the top there. Right, on another panel, there is... No, they don't belong on that one. No, they don't belong on that one. They don't have shutters, do they? No, they don't, that one. You can do, if you want it on that side, it's entirely up to you, but I've decorated it like that, okay? And then we're going to just put the top story on. So you want this, this base of the balcony, it's like that. So that fits on like Have you ever been that. to Venice, Kate? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. It's going to be a while until we do, I think. Hey-ho. Hey -ho. <laughs> So that fits in like that. Is that an end you've got That's there? an end. So that's the end, end right. of your decorative um, belt. So you just put that on like that. If I do the other one, and I'll, sh and I'll turn around okay. so you can see, see it. So, too much glue there. Let's just sit on there, like that. Again, you've got excess glue. You can just wipe this off as you go. OK, so that fits in like that. Right, can you... Okay. There you go. It doesn't need to be that. that no, as don't... you were, but just tip it towards you because I, I was trying to see because I stuck mine the wrong way around. Well, you can stick it either way around. It fits, you can fit it the other way around if you want. It's entirely up to you. Okay. Yeah, so it fits that's like fine. that. And then you just put your glue. Got some glue across here. This was Neil's favourite bit, the balcony. Oh, was it? Okay. And then that fits in like that. So it's not difficult. So it just fits in and just squidge it around until you're happy with it. Beautiful. That's it. That's that's your balcony done. And then you can put your archway, just fits over like that. So just put a bit of glue. Again, you can decorate this before you stick them down. It's just amazing how every time you add an element, how different it looks. It, it, yeah, it yeah. just gives it another another look. Yeah, it's really, really lovely. Very clever designing these. So there's some fantastic architecture obviously in Venice. Yeah. So it wasn't, it wasn't difficult to be inspired. There we go, and that fits like that. And we'll do the door frame in a minute. So we'll just put the path in. So the, the, fen uh, the, the canal will be here, and then that's the pathway, so you can actually walk along if you, a little bit in there. Otherwise the they go out of their door and straight into the water. Which often they do, but not, yes. on this, not on this side. They do on the other side. Yeah. Okay, like that. Okay, and then you can put your door surround. So it's a bit chunky this one because it 
about two slabs of uh, three slabs of um, stone on this one. Okay, and in case I've left the doors in, but you can take those out and angle those as well, and you can put little shutters behind them or whatever you'd like on that. And this one here, so you've got that path here. This is going to stick like that, and that's going to stick on the end just to whoops, keep it in place. So you so you don't end up with a hole at the end. So I'll stick that one on first. Is this easier? Looks like I've got a horrible skin disease. But I was just thinking that. <laughs> There's glue. Well, you don't normally get glue on your fingers. It's usually me that ends so, up covered in it. So, well, I do, I do when I'm demonstrating because I just get on with it. <laughs> so I just put a little bit of glue on here and here. I do have eczema anyway, but it's been quite good at the moment. No, I didn't think it was eczema. I just thought I did think <laughs> it was glue. Have, I do have eczema. <laughs> okay, and then just just make sure that that stays in place and it's level and just fits in like that. Okay. So is that long thin strip sitting on top of the little square or flush with the little square? It should be sitting end? on top, is it? That's on, fine. Is it is on top? I can't see what it's doing. So yeah, no, it is. I, cu I couldn't see. Yeah. Yeah. It is, it is sitting on top. So, so, so it looks like it's a nice, neat finish at the end. Okay, so you can take off any excess glue and we just leave that to dry. Okay, cool. So that's one side. So that's your left hand side. Okay, so we'll leave that to dry. And this is the right hand side. And then your tabbing is, because this is at the bottom of the pile and I should have been at the top of the pile, is all you do is find your tabs and just cut them with a knife. You can hear, can you hear that? Mm -hmm. It's quite satisfying when you hear that. You don't always get it, but if you normally do, it means it's cut through. Uh, and I've left the frame in, I haven't cut the frame out, so I've just got the windows out. And that's as simple as that. Mm -hmm. And you end up with lots of these little bits. And again, you could use these on your mixed media pieces or you could use it with a nook or whatever. So yeah, they're good for sticking behind something if you want extra dimension. Yeah, and for, yeah. for various bits and pieces. So I don't necessarily want to throw them out. Oh, I've forgotten a bit on my, my balcony. Oh, you have. Uh -huh. Gosh, so did I. Uh, I wasn't paying attention. No, oh. she's usually quite good like that. So, you only, so you've got your balcony supports, which are these ones here. And I've designed them to fit like that. Right, stop. Okay. So if I do that... I'm perfect. Okay, so I'm going to put a bit of glue on a piece of scrap and then I'm going to use tweezers because this is a lot easier with tweezers. So and a drop, a, drop a glue there, whoops, and a drop of glue there and I'll do one at each end. Okay, so you've got one at each end. And then you've got four more, so you can either have one in the centre and one on each side, or you can have equal space in between if you want to. So, or, we, or the, what I have done is put them directly in line with the archway uh, support. Which That's makes what more, I did because I can't Which makes more sense. Hey, it's easy to see, and, and architecturally, I think it makes more sense as well. So, there's a bit of glue here, and just line them up there. I'll put them on the roughly, and then I'll just face me and then I can get it in the right place. But tweezers are a lot easier than messing around with your fingers on this. Especially if you've got sausage fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Although I managed it with them. Okay. You could put them this way round if you wanted to. Although they will go over the window frame. They are designed to go they that way They look more elegant the way you've got them. So that's how they but is it, again it's it's yours so if do you, want it how to do, you want to yeah basically it's your it's entirely yours it's your, it's your scene so I'm just going to make sure that they're straight oops that's it okay so I'm quite happy with that now so that Okay, then now I will leave it to dry. So, beautiful. Well, I'm glad I spotted this. So, right, so we're going back to this one, which is here. So you've got your shutters, a piece there. You've got two archways, and you've got two archways because I put one on top of the other, so you've got a nice chunky archway, which is 
part of the canal system and when you put your nook together your bridge goes through that so you've got a walkway and, and it's a, a waterway as well through there so just stick these two pieces together so where your archways are on both sides would you recommend painting that yes behind that black on the outer yes bottom. on the outer yeah yeah when you put, you put it together i'll show you what the best yeah. thing to we do we have put it in the instructions haven't we yes we have put we have mentioned that instructions yeah so they fit together like that just make sure that they're nice straight at the bottom So this excess glue, which seems to be on my fingers, it, you can get, you can use a rubber to get rid of it later. Okay, so that just fits on there. And then put a bit of glue around this side. I'll stick these on up here. Again, these ones, you can angle them if you wanted to angle them, you can do. Or again, you could put them over so they're actually shut. It's entirely up to you. So I'll just put those there for the minute. Uh, put that on. Okay, so what I need to make sure this is actually flush here because then obviously I hold it off when I stick it together. Okay, and then we've got three supports here and and our archway, and we've got a little little piece here, which is like the stone bit that they have the bottom of the buildings. So that marks where the water line would be and then where the houses are. So I think it marks like a damp course, I should think. Oh, probably, yeah. So we'll put a little bit of that on there. So that fits in like that. And we could, I'll, give, I'll give you a line there so you can see where it is. Might be to measure to see if that house is sinking, because a lot of them are, aren't they? Yes, so, yeah. But it's, it's usually, uh, the ones I've seen on f mm. photos is... It's just decorative element, yeah. isn't it? So these aren't actually accurate buildings are just sort of a mishmash of all Ven Venetian style so and you just glue those into place there and then again you put that so it's level like that so that's your again that archway makes a big difference doesn't it it does it is like coming to life yeah yeah I say my what the one that you, I de uh, you saw earlier I need to finish it because I haven't got any plants on there I was going to get some Oh, geraniums and stuff. I, that's what I'm doing now. So, so we'll finish it off to do that. There we go. Okay, and that's your right hand side. Okay. So we'll put that to one side. Okay, I think we can come back to our gondola. And this bit's stuck now. So therefore you want let's get our little stick and glue together. So what you're going to do now is glue these bits to this bit here. So because you've already curved it up, you get that curve. Sorry, I'm myself on Sorry, you got your bit. You got your curve like that. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I've zoomed in. Case. Okay. Okay. So. And then you do it on that side, and obviously get the excess glue off your fingers if you can. Do you want you, a rubber? No, that's fine. Okay. And then you've got your sticky glue, and you just put your glue on those bits there. You are going to get a bit stuck up here. There. And then you glue along here and down there. Like that. Okay. So, what you're going to do is push these in carefully and push that up. And just manipulate it until it fits in like that. Oops. Okay, and make sure those are together as well. And then it's easy to get a peg or a clip. And then just make sure that's together like that. If you secure that with a clip. You could use a paper clip as well. Yeah, you can use you a paper clip. You can use a, a closed peg would be fine. I tend to use them at home. We've got these here. So then, now that's in the right place. Now just hold that in place until the glue takes. And then secure that together. Use another clip. Okay. And you do exactly the same. Just push that in. If it's been difficult, just hold it in place. And you do exactly the same on the other side. This is a bit easier because you've got less 
a little bit on the top. So just go. It's all about being patient with this, isn't it? And doing it in stages, letting each stage dry, dry. properly. Because yes. yeah. if you don't, speaking from experience, it doesn't work as well. Okay, and it does, you tend to get, you will get a bit of gluey, I'm yeah. afraid. I couldn't work out how to get this, because it's a curved shape, if it's, if it's um, straight, it's fine, but because it's curved, it's difficult. You need to get, you need the curve in, otherwise it doesn't look right. And then we had to find the right board, didn't we? Yes, that took, that took a while as well. Can you, move, can you move your thing up a bit if you want to? Okay, and then that just fits in exactly the same again. So you just move that, just make sure that fits on top. Fits in like that, the little tabby bits work in. And that's together. So I just, I tend to find it easier to put the top bit in and secure that with a peg and then get the bits of glue for fingers oops, and just put that in and when I'm happy with that just secure it with a clip like that okay any bits like that you can use a rubber glove later to get rid of those so because this one hasn't quite stuck here I'm going to put a little bit more glue on it and then just hold it into position and get another peg just a bit. That flew off last time. That's it, so it's all nice and squished and tight. So that is those bits there. And then these, you can just manipulate those so they're a bit more bendy and then they, they stick on. I think that's the other end. Uh, oh, I've got, I've got the seat in the way around. It doesn't matter too much, I suppose. Oh, you, should have, you should have the seat in the way around. I wonder if I can take it out. I don't think I can take it out now. Because I've because I bent those in, I can't take it out. Because the seat should face the pointy end. Not that Oh, bit. yeah. So, yeah. The, again, it doesn't matter too much, I don't think. So, that's, that's, that's one I did earlier. <laughs> the correct way. <laughs> it, doesn't make, it doesn't make that much difference, I don't think. But I think it is meant to be the other way around. So, put your bit of glue along here, like that. And just hold it in place. You can use pear tweezers if you need to. Just hold it in place like that, so just till, till it sticks. Keep it in place. Okay, so you can just hold it like that. It's pinged off, but I think it's stuck now. So that's fine. And then just do this one. So it is a question of just manipulating it. I'm just conscious of it's taking ages to do this part. Oops. And let's just stick that on top like that. And I'll just put a little bit on the, on the ends. And just stick that like that. And manipulate this up with a pair of tweezers. There you go. Oops. Sorry about that. Just got out. Okay. And that fits in like that. If you've got it the way around, it does make life easier. Okay, that's the general idea. And you end up with something that looks less scruffy like that. And then you can paint it to look like all you need is a very handsome gondolier and a nice cream cake. And yeah, you'll be that's, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so that's your gondolier. Okay, I, I just said it was fiddly <laughs> and I wasn't wrong. <laughs> okay, so then we get to uh, um, our vinyl sheet. So we thought about it. We were going to thinking about using a mirror for your canal, but this vinyl. Um, silver vinyl looks better because it's got it's more um gives it a better reflection like water does mm. and if you want to you can color it with alcohol inks if you want to so you want to have a little plate you can do that so what you need to do is you get your plain path or your base and it'll, it'll also reflect won't it Kay, what yeah. you painted on the underside of your top yes yeah, it does it reflects the ceiling so when you do this the top it reflects that so just position that along there you've got a bit of wiggle room on there and just press that down, and the easiest way of doing it is just a nice sharp craft knife, and just cut. 
peels off there. So, as simple as that. Sticky? Because it's sticky back. And you can see a slight, slight watery texture already. Yeah, there. you can see, you can see that. Just give, give that a good rub down. I'll use, probably use a cloth to do that. You can see your face, Kay. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> you can see yours now. <laughs> so, so on this bit here, when it's finished, when you, when this is dry, you can, if you paint this area here black, so when you put your archway in, it will look, it will look um, like it's going into um, a dark area. So it fits in. Like so. So you put your path in first. Just lift that up. Okay, you put your path in there and then stick that onto there like that. So I just put a little bit of glue on those. I'll just do that facing me. Path in first. So that on top. And that on top like that. Okay, so you need to make sure that they're nice and level here, so you give that squidge in to fit. Nice and level there. Okay, and then squidge it to fit. And that is, that's the right hand side. Lovely. Okay, and then you're going to put your top on, so you make sure that you've got that the right way around. So your flat bit is facing you, uh, and the bit with one tab is at the top. And then we'll glue that into position. Again, we could have painted this side so when it goes through the arch, it looks like it's going through into a, a dark area. Not the dark side. Not, not necessarily the dark side. <laughs> we'll just make sure that fits in like that. Tab a bit. Thank you for my able assistant. Thank you. Or my, glamour, <laughs> my glamorous assistant, shall I I'll say. go for glamorous. I don't know about able. <laughs> Well, okay, one out of two, not bad. <laughs> <laughs> you make up your minds up which ones you want. <laughs> so just, just enough to hold it in place and then lift it up. So you've got like that. And then just um, stick your, your other one in here. Oops. I'll put a bit, a bit of glue on that, I think, because it's not holding it. So you obviously glue this in. You don't need a spot of glue just to fit that into, into, into place. Okay, and turn it over. Oops. Right, we'll take both those out. Put that one back in. That's it, so that just glue into there. And I'll just glue this one in. I took these out by mistake, I wasn't going to leave them in there. But... So you could stick them in once the other bits are Yeah, but you'll stick them in before you stick yeah. the base in like that. So um, I would paint those or colour them. In. And painting, what would you use? You could use acrylic paints, you, alcohol yeah. pens. Yeah, you can all, all sorts of things. Anything, but uh, acrylic paints. Uh, you can use watercolor paint and all the rest. Uh, you can yeah. use watercolor paint. You can use paste to, for the brickwork and what have you. Just try not to make it too wet because of the MDF will swell. And, and you've then, got plenty of bits of MDF to do tests on anyway, haven't you? From the wet. Yeah, so you got so you, so all your wasty bits here before you don't throw them out until you've tested all your bits of paint on there. So it's easy to work. And if you've overswell, if it's overswollen, wait till it's dry and then sand it if necessary. Okay, so what I take, I sometimes put little pegs on here just to keep those in position and make sure that's flat there. So that's uh, that's your um, size put in. Right, so now you've got to put your bridge in. Okay, so it will fit in. Okay, the easiest way I found to do it was put it in like that get it to the end and then twist it round, which I might not be able to do with the camera, but I'm going to have to do it. Can you lift it up a bit and do it? I'm not quite sure whether I can do it back to front. I might have to do it face to face instead of it. So going like that. Can you see that? Go towards you a bit. Right, okay. Okay, right. so it goes in like that. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then literally just turn it around like that. There you go. Perfect. Okay, yeah. so like that. Okay, and then you get your steps and you'll need to make sure Come towards me a bit. That's it. Okay. So your steps will fit. Oops. 
This is where you might want tweezers, actually. Or, um, actually, what you could use is um, kitchen tongs. If you've got some thin kitchen tongs. Do it what's comfy for you. Yeah, today. basically. Can we? I'll I'm going to have to... We'll, we'll zoom in afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to put that in position. So I'm going to hold it in one hand, just put it in position. Right, so that is... Is that in the right place? Yeah, that fits in there like that. Okay, so that is in the right place. I haven't stuck it, but that is in the right place. Right. So can you... Can you tip the front towards me? Okay, but I'll not stuck it. So. No, that's perfect. We can see. Okay? Yeah. So you can see, if you do it the other way around, you've got the top step is too big. Yeah. Okay? And so you want, it, yeah. you want it like that. Okay? Uh -huh. And then all you need to do is stick it... If you glue it here and here, that sticks it to the path, and then that sticks it to the bridge, and then the bridge will stay. That's all you need, the bridge to stay in place. You don't need anything else. So I'll just put the glue on here. Right. So I'm going to have to stand up and do this, and I don't think you're going to see this, because at the moment, hold on, I'm just going to stick this in. Let's not eat. Okay, you've got it in the position, and just, and just leave, and then you just need to leave it till it sticks. Okay, you can see where I've put the excess glue on there. Turn it and tip it uh, that way. Perfect. Okay, mm -hmm. so you can see where the excess glue is on there, but I'll leave that for the time being. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that's, that stays like that. And then you put your mirror in. Hold on, for some reason there. So your mirror fits. Well, I haven't got that at all. Okay. So you've got your mirror. So your mirror fits in along here. Mm -hmm. So take that out. So your mirror fits in, and you can either have it that way round, or you can have it that way round. Entirely up to you. So I'll just leave it like that for the time being. And then what I would do then, once you've decided, is just put a couple of drops of glue either side. So where are we going to go? That way? Yeah. We'll go that way, and shall we? The reason we put the mirror is, when Kay shows you, you've got like a continuous line of um, perspective. Can you see that? If you tip it up to I can't really tip it because it's yeah. still gluing. That's it. No, we can see it now. So you can see it looks like you've, you've got the reflection of the bridge and then you've got another bridge behind that. So it's just like constant and continuing. There you go. Okay. So do that. See your face, Kate. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> and then you've got your top. Which I haven't got a top. I'll get you a top. You'll get your top. Um, and then if you, if you paint it with a um, sky and clouds, it gets reflected back. So that, that, it's that one, isn't it? It's drawn on. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, okay, so you've got your t the top. This is the top with your, um, with your light. Okay, which we haven't got a light either. You have, I've got you one. Oh, where'd you, I'll put it there. So you can put your light there. So you can have it at the back, or you could turn it around and you could have your light at the front. It's entirely up to you. So, so there's, your, there's your light. I've got, I found a light. You found it? <laughs> yes. So you've got your light like that. Can you see that? Well she's not behind the camera, she's wandering around trying to find a light. She's made me run around looking for lights. Well, Come, uh, tip it down a little bit. Uh, now tip it up towards you a smidge. Perfect. Okay, so you can, yeah. have, you can have your light like that. Or if I turn this entire thing around, you can have it at the back. It's entirely up to you, like okay. so. And then you get a different illumination effect. Yeah. Oh, that's a big okay, word. so that is your look done. I'm just going to show you on this one. Take the top off and you can see it better. You can see you've got your brook effect with a new stencil. Can you see that? Yes. Okay, and that's one that, that's using all the bricks on that side. And this side is using part bricks and then part rendering as if it's been a bit scruffy. Very effective. Kay. Okay, and then, that's it. That's our Venetian look. I hope you enjoy making it. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye! Bye.